Hi, I'm Bill Hamblett, the Editor-in-Chief of Proceedings at the U.S. Naval Institute. In this episode, we're going to talk about professional writing and how to write for proceedings. Special thanks to Booz Allen for sponsoring this video. Accelerate today's missions with tomorrow's technologies as the leader in providing AI solutions to the federal government and one of the world's largest cybersecurity providers, Booz Allen advances game-changing capabilities rapidly, ethically, and securely. Learn more at boozallen.com defense. To begin with, anyone can write for proceedings. Most of our authors are Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, active duty and retired, but we welcome Army, Air Force, Space Force, foreign military, and civilians as well. We publish content from people at all ranks, from junior enlisted to flag and general officers. Historically, some of the best, most thought-provoking and interesting content has come from young authors. For example, Ernest J. King, Chester Nimitz, and Hyman Rickover all started writing when they were lieutenants. Once you know you want to write, here are some tips for writing. First, good writing starts with reading. Be a reader. Study writing. Find a set of simple writing rules that make sense to you and stick to them. Read what we've previously published on your topic and build on it, footnote it, or refute it. Write what you know and are passionate about. Stick to subjects in which you have expertise. Stake out some intellectual territory. Put forward a clear, forceful new idea or point of view. Don't leave any doubt about what you think, but be professional. No ad hominem attacks. For example, we can't publish Admiral Smith is an idiot, but we can publish Admiral Smith's policy on amphibious shipbuilding will weaken U.S. power projection capability. Keep your sentences as short and declarative as possible. Avoid word salad. Use the active, not the passive voice. This can come hard for those who have drafted a lot of official correspondence. But for example, the USS Ronald Reagan transited the Taiwan Strait is a lot better than the Taiwan Strait was transited by the USS Ronald Reagan. Strive for clarity and vigor in every paragraph. If you bore the reader, they'll quit reading. Avoid jargon and acronyms. If you must use an acronym, define it parenthetically. For example, sea lines of communication or SLOC. Put SLOC in parents and then you can use SLOC in subsequent paragraphs. You get negative points for us for making up a new acronym. The world has plenty of acronyms. Add color and readability to your account by weaving in people's quoted remarks. Personalities, especially famous ones, spark the reader's interest. For example, after the Battle of Midway, Admiral Nimitz remarked to his staff, dot, dot, dot. Document your evidence with endnotes. We prefer endnotes to footnotes. We'll accept either, but endnotes are our preferred standard. When you're done writing, read your article aloud to pick up on repetition or awkwardness. Have a friend read it for comprehension and clarity. Edit ruthlessly. Nobody gets it right the first time. Be prepared to sacrifice paragraphs that don't contribute to the overall purpose of your article. If you don't make the sacrifices, expect us to make those cuts for you. Regardless of rank, I say it again, regardless of rank, everyone gets edited. If you need permission to publish from your chain of command, request permission prior to submitting the article or at the same time. Don't wait until the last minute or until we've already accepted your article. Our review process and the government approval process both take time. Do not use AI to write your paper and do not plagiarize. Don't even plagiarize yourself if you've written for us before. We use AI and plagiarism checkers. Even heavy use of a tool such as Grammarly can be detected and disqualifying. Don't be afraid to write for our essay contests. Most of our contests draw between 75 and 150 submissions. The top three win prize money, up to five or $6,000. But every essay in an essay contest is evaluated for publication. We often publish 20 or more entries from each essay contest. You can find more about our essay contest by searching Proceedings Essay Contests. If you don't want to submit for a contest, you can just submit your article or commentary through our online submission portal. 
If you search for how to write for proceedings, our online portal will pop up. Pick the category, feature article, commentary, professional note, etc., then submit it and wait patiently. We receive more than a thousand submissions per year, so there are other authors ahead of you in the queue. Finally, anyone who has a thought about writing an article should rest assured that the proceedings editors will assist you. We will see to it that your piece receives the editorial refinement your ideas deserve. And if we don't choose to publish your work, we'll try to give you feedback on why and how you can improve it. Our job is to help you make your argument as well and forcefully as possible. Thanks again to Booz Allen for sponsoring this episode. Accelerate today's missions with tomorrow's technologies. As the leader in AI solutions for the federal government and one of the world's largest cybersecurity providers, Booz Allen advances game-changing capabilities rapidly, ethically, and securely. You can learn more at boozallen.com defense. And until next episode, dare to read, think, speak, and write. And remember, victory begins at the Naval Institute.